So uh, you want to learn how to write uh, composable functions efficiently like this? Well, not as fast as that, but uh, stay here a little longer and uh, I'm going to teach you how to write your own live templates for a Jetpack Compose. So for those of you who are not familiar with uh, live templates, uh, live templates are basically just uh, a way to uh, print or write uh, some boilerplate code using a short uh, words or a shortcuts. So uh, for example, if we write here uh, COMP, uh, then we're going to see this live template, which will allow us to write uh, or print our composable functions with uh, one click. So now, as you can see, we didn't uh, have to uh, actually write by ourselves this uh, composable annotation along with this uh, fun keyword and those brackets. We just use this uh, comp uh, a live template to do the work and print uh, all of that code here. Now that's the exact thing which we're going to do in this video. So I'm going to show you how to write uh, some uh, quite useful uh, live templates uh, which uh, will help you to uh, speed up your uh, workflow when uh, writing your uh, Jetpack Compose code. So the first uh, live template uh, which I'm going to show you here uh, will be for a modifier parameter. So I don't know about you but uh, I really hate uh, writing this uh, modifier a parameter in uh, basically each and every uh, composable function of mine. And since I use this uh, modifier parameter a lot, I have decided to create a live template out of it. So now let me just uh, show you that. Uh, let's go to File, then our Settings, uh, open up a live templates under this editor category, and then uh, you will see here a bunch of different uh, uh, sections or categories for live templates. Now open up this Android Compose, and if you want to create a new live template, just press this little plus icon. Uh, anyhow, I have already made those uh, live templates, so I'm going to just uh, show you uh, what I actually did here. So um, this uh, abbreviation actually means that we can specify here the actual short word, which we're going to use in our project to print uh, that uh, live template. Uh, here I have specified a description for this specific uh, live template as well, so I'm just adding a modifier parameter. And here I have specified a modifier equal and then the whole path of that modifier uh, class. So whenever creating your own live templates, it's important to specify the whole path or the package of that specific class which you want to include in your live template and not just that uh, single word. Okay, so now after that uh, whole import, I have specified here one dot. And then after that dot, I have specified one variable. So what is a variable in a live template? Well, a variable is basically uh, every word which is wrapped inside those uh, two uh, dollar symbols, like that. And whenever you write uh, some word inside those uh, symbols, then this uh, color will change and you will be able to edit uh, that uh, same variable. So now you can see that here uh, I have specified already for this expression to be complete. And now let me show you how this uh, live template uh, will actually work. So now here in this column, let me just uh, add here those brackets. So I'm going to type here now mod, which is my live template, and press enter. So after that, as you can see, I uh, was able to print that um, modifier uh, parameter only by typing those uh, three words for my uh, live template. And after that, as you can see, we have immediately shown this uh, window which is um, displaying uh, all those functions which we can use with our modifier. And that uh, window here is allowed because uh, I have specified uh, uh, one expression for that variable. So as you can see, if I remove this uh, complete uh, expression, for example, let's just remove that and let's save our uh, live template. So now if I try to add this um, uh, live template modifier, uh, then I'm not going to be able to uh, see that uh, window which should prompt uh, all those functions which I can see for our modifier. And that's why it is important for you to just um, open up that and um, specify here that complete expression because it will allow you to display all those um, functions for that specific class. There you go. So now we have figured out how to create our modifier uh, live template. So uh, the next thing I'm going to show you here uh, how to add a few more uh, a live template. So I have created a live template for a column. So it's not really necessary because uh, you can also write the column and just, uh, you know, uh, specify that composable function. But uh, anyhow, I have decided to just create here a lowercase letter a live template for a column. And then I can call here a modifier, add some a modifier. There we go. I have also created a modifier to actually uh, print those uh, other properties or parameters like uh, vertical arrangement uh, and uh, horizontal alignment. So let's call here uh, vertical arrangement. So uh, VARR, 
there we go i can just print that and for the alignment i can call here a horizontal alignment this is a live template which i have already made as well and there we go so as simple as that now we can try out here uh, this uh, column uh, once again so let's just write here a column a modifier a vertical arrangement horizontal alignment and there we go so by using those uh, live templates i was able to uh, add all those parameters in a matter of seconds and even though that doesn't look like a big deal, it will actually increase the speed of your uh, workflow a lot. Now I can also show you here um, those other uh, live templates which I have made. So for example, a, uh, a vertical uh, arrangement. So there you go. I'm just using also this uh, vertical arrangement equal and then the whole path of this arrangement class and then this uh, variable which uh, will allow me to just add this uh, complete expression so I can then show and uh, display that uh, pop-up so I can see what kind of uh, options do I have for, uh, for example, a vertical arrangement and uh, a horizontal alignment. So here, there you go. I can immediately see those options like a center, uh, top and bottom and so on. And for our uh, horizontal uh, alignment as well. So I can immediately just uh, choose one of those options. So it's uh, very easy. Okay, so now you have seen uh, some uh, basic uh, and uh, small examples of uh, live templates for Jetpack Compose. And even though those were small uh, live templates, they are still quite useful and they can still um, improve your uh, speed and workflow a lot. Now, with the knowledge that you have gathered in this video, I am sure that you can awake your uh, creativity and create some more uh, complex uh, live templates than those. So, uh, if you have your own uh, useful and uh, interesting live templates for Jetpack Compose, then uh, feel free to share them in the comment section of this video. Also, be sure to like this video if you find it uh, helpful, of course. And uh, see you in the next one.